How do I get my codependent husband to see through his narcissistic friends' manipulations? I think he has me on in his radar. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think he has me uh, in his radar. Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. And uh, I'm also a relationship coach. You can find me at erscoaching.com. Okay. So your codependent husband, your husband really um, meets you. We all have some kind of codependency. It's just, it's just to a matter of what kind of degree. Um, then I want to talk about um, how it must be very frustrating for you to see how your husband is being manipulated because you can see as a third party uh, through his narcissistic friend. So you don't like his friend. You think his, his friend is not good for him. And uh, you are really concerned about him. And of course, he's your loved one. You are worried about him. So that is completely understandable. What you can do is you can highlight this to them. You can tell him that you feel that this is an issue. And then you can point out certain things about what he's doing and what is being affected. However, you really need to talk to him in a quite non-emotional way. You, you, if the more emotional you are about it, the more he's suspicious of your intent behind it. So sometimes telling may not work. You may want to um, not go into reactive mode, but more into questioning. So when you post like a question, oh, I wonder why he's always like asking you only, you know, let that question start to simmer into him and then he starts to ask this question as well or you can say things like uh, did you did you pay for did you pay today or um, so did he pay today or when was the last time he paid something like that so then he starts to wonder for himself oh yeah when was the last time he paid so then um, in time to come this little seed that you plant uh, may start to take fruit and your um, husband may start to see that oh actually I need to have my own uh, say I need to stand up for myself so you can do little things like that however sometimes this is not welcomed any comments that you make any little seed that you try to plant uh, is not welcomed so when this is not welcome you just need to let them be you need to just leave him alone um, I know you are close to this person but sometimes they need to learn their own lessons and it's painful but you cannot lead their life for them um, this is, you know, human rights, is human freedom. And actually, the more you try to do that, the more he will actually re be repulsed by that and uh, be suspicious and withdraw from you. So be there for that person, just like you would uh, for your child, knowing that your child will probably need to make their own mistakes so that they can learn. It's hard when this person is an adult, but sometimes this is exactly what they need. And that might be the best thing that they need. But please don't like when, when they realize that they made a mistake. Please don't say things like, see, I told you so. Don't do that, okay? That really doesn't help the situation. So this is Martha of Arrows Coaching. i um, sharing with you some of my thoughts. I love to hear from you. You can post your comments below. And you can also ask me questions below. Or you can email me at ask at arrowscoaching.com. So that's why I'm taking questions and making them into videos.